Good morning, everybody. This is I'm Kim Fung, getting a new revelation from, I call it heaven, but it's, it's through my experiences, too, here on Earth. Always being short on money and never being able to find enough of it. But we always think of the printed stuff, which I have here. So, which I have some, just in case, but there's some people that are stubborn and haven't had their eyes open yet. And uh, I believe all the novelty money you see online is real. So here's some novelty money. It's a real million dollars to me. I'm not going to speak for anybody else but to me. Look at that. I'm probably going to use it uh, for something. Um, I was thinking of budging it, like saving half. And then uh, maybe buying some stuff for my family. Because I have uh, a wife and a daughter and parents to support since they supported me not everything i wasn't a spoiled rich kid where i got full you know scholarship to school or full funding and then a new car and everything uh, we did have a new car but it was shared and i only got to use it like on the weekends but uh those are actually old bottle cars that uh, aren't that good uh, you know, we need to upgrade our cars now to something that uses electric so we can save our oxygen, not only gasoline or reduce pollution, but that cars that uh, use uh, combustible engines burns up a lot of clean oxygen. And uh, we also need to uh, upgrade the vehicles that can handle a flood. Since I live in a flood zone, we got flooded this year, so it's been a little bit tough. I was up at like 2 a.m. in the morning trying to transfer crap to the second floor and uh, that's what you get for hiring bad contractors so which is partially my fault but uh, but I'll talk about that story later so was most of the mess is cleaned up now and we're okay for now but but it's gonna cost like a thousand dollars which I have too if you're curious about that so uh, I also have a hundred trillion, which, you know, the bank wants to, to basically rip you off. So I want to listen to banks exchange right Here's my thousand bucks. So I'm not sure what I'm going to buy with it, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll just invest it into Ant or something or some stock. <laughs> Or into a CD, I guess. Now, the revelation I've had is that the way we think we should get money is wrong. And really, the best way is with a pen and paper. You can write your own money and make it valid. And then, if you want to, you can type and print if you don't have.